Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part 10 of my Let's Platinum Dark Souls series. Uh, at the end of the last video, we, we stopped here at this bonfire. It's the Dark Moon Tomb bonfire in Anor Londo. Uh, this is where we left off. We just left the painted world of Ariamis. And now we're going to go to the Great Hollow and Ash Lake. They're two very small areas, so I've put them together in one video. They're basically one after another anyway. Um, before that, we're going to do a few other little things on the way down. Uh, make sure you've spoken to Sigma. I should have already spoken to him. He's usually disappeared by now. Uh, just make sure he says he's going to go down below. Uh, he's talking about um, Blight Town. We're going to go and see him down there shortly. Uh, I said to save all your souls from the end of the last episode as well. Um, we need 60,000 to uh, to speak to Big Hat Logan here. Uh, not to speak to him, but to purchase his sorceries. Uh, we need Intelligence 15 to... Um, to purchase these in the first place I did tell you at the end in the last video to get that done so hopefully you did if not you will need to um, to get up to intelligence level 15 to actually purchase those but we do need them for the trophy uh, for the sorceries trophy so uh, yeah you're gonna have to purchase them I would do it now as well he is gonna move and eventually he will disappear uh, so buy them as you can as I sort of say uh, to do them uh, it's just sort of break up the cost so to speak uh, next, I'm going to speak to this guy here, Laurentius. Uh, if you haven't spoken to him since uh, returning from Quailana in Blight Town, if you purchase one of Quailana's pyromancies, he's going to ask you a question about it. Uh, say no. Make sure you say no, otherwise he's going to go into... I think he goes down into Blight Town and goes hollow and crazy and you can't speak to him anymore. Um, that's not a massive problem if you've already... Uh, Ascended, um, not ascended. If you've purchased all of his pyromancies and uh, got your pyromancy or got pyromancy flame up to 15, <laughs> got there in the end. Uh, and that's what I've done now. I've put it all the way up to 15, and I'm going to go down into Blight Town and ascend it uh, one level as well. Uh, it's going to become really powerful. Eventually, I'm going to have um, be leveling up dexterity as well, so it's going to be really quick to cast. Uh, just before we go down into Blight Town, make sure you have three uh, purple moss clumps as well. Uh, you can purchase those from the um, the female merchant in the unbed, Undead Berg Tunnel if you haven't got them. Uh, but yes, you will need three for Siegmeyer. He's basically trapped down there once we go and see him. Uh, and he says he needs the poison to help get out. So the, the purple moss, should I say, to avoid the poison. So we need to give him three of them. So just make sure you carry. You should be carrying more than three at this point anyway. Uh, yeah, and so we're going to take the shortcut down uh, towards Blight Town. But we're just going to do a quick shortcut. There is another one of those uh, undead, like zombie dragons. Uh, you can attack this dragon very early on in the game, actually. Uh, it does have quite a decent sword with it, the Astora Straight Sword. Uh, which is a sword you could use in, the, in a, a section that's coming up shortly. Um, it's it's good against skeletons basically. Um, I'm not going to. I think it's divine. Divine is the one we're after for skeletons, and it's good against those. Um, I'm not going to use it personally. Maybe I might do. Uh, it might change it, but Quailanas is just so good that so we'll see. Uh, yeah. So here he is. You can come and do this at any point, but we're going to do it now because it's just easier to beat now. Uh, you can put, you can't pick these things up. He'll just wake up anyway. So just go and attack him. The idea with this guy is uh, attack twice and get out. He does do the, the toxic spray there, so you can dodge roll past it there, um, wait for him to do it in the middle, hit the claw twice, and then get out the way you came, because so, he's going to swipe, uh, and then just repeat that, that over and over again until he's dead. If you've got uh, high humanity and using Quailana's sword like I am, it's not going to take long at all. Uh, you can just do it uh, a few times. I think it's for five times, maybe, maybe a few more. So yeah, you can just literally, you don't even need to uh, roll past that. You can walk past it, it's not going to get you. And if it does, uh, if you've got high humanity as well, you'll have a high resistance. I think that's the way it works. Uh, it's That's the way it works against um, Curse. The higher your, your humanity, the um, stronger your resistances are. He's doing the, uh, the swipe there, and then just run past, and just repeat, and he shouldn't be able to hit you. But 
done at this point? Yes, we are. So we have the Astora Straight Sword here, the Dragon Crest Shield. They're both rare weapons that we do need for the trophy. Um, and then we have the Soul over there as well. Uh, carrying on there, down there, there are a lot of drakes. Uh, that's another shortcut to two areas. Um, the bottom of the Dark Root Basin is there. We, I did the bonfire near where the near where we got the cre um, the Grass Crest Shield that we're using. Um, at the bottom of there, there was a bonfire. That's the shortcut through. So it's a direct shortcut through here. We will have to deal with the drakes, um, which aren't too bad on their own. But if there's a bunch of them, which there are on the other side of the bridge, which is the bottom of New Londo Ruins, I believe, that um, they can become a bit of a problem. So we're not going to do that yet. We're going to leave that. We probably won't use that shortcut anyway. Uh, now that we can just walk between bonfires, it's not absolutely necessary. Uh, so yeah, we're going to make our way down into the bottom of Blight Town. I'm just going to go this way. Um, because it's the it's not the quickest way. Well, I suppose from where we were just were to uh, to get those two weapons anyway. Might as well do this and uh, beat these guys. You can see how much better this sword is. I don't know what was hitting there. It was hitting wood. But yeah, it's three hits from this sword now. We'll uh, we'll kill them. So they're uh, they're just not a threat anymore. <laughs> The area we're going to first, the Great Hollow. Basically, you have to go through the Great Hollow. Uh, we did go in there briefly to uh, light a bonfire. You re may remember the first time we came into the Black Town Swamp, we went into a tree and lit a bonfire. That's where we're going. We're going to continue down there. Um, it's not. <laughs> it's not a fun place. It's. It's not difficult at all. You can just drop all the way to the bottom, um, and no, it's not a problem. But if you want to get all the stuff that's there, there's a lot of uh, titanite chunks, all different colours. Um, and there are nine uh, crystal lizards that drop some pretty good stuff, including, if you're lucky, titanite slabs, which are the, uh, the top um, material we need for some of the upgrades. And there are only, I think there are only three guaranteed titanite slabs, maybe four per playthrough. So getting a, a random drop from one of these guys is pretty good, um, but yeah, you have to. It's a lot. It's very slippy. It's not. I say slippy. Uh, it's not slippy as in uh, you would normally think. You're just skating around. It's just the way the game is designed. You can just all all of a sudden just fall if you stand too close to the edge of a rounded branch. <laughs> It'll make more sense when we get there. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to get all of the crystal lizards. It's kind of random where they show up, so I can't say it's going to be here and you then expect it to actually be here. Um, I'll show you how it works or how uh, I believe it works. Um, it's different because it was different on my practice to what uh, this recording room is. They were in a different location. I think there are set locations and they can just sort of spawn randomly in any of them at any given time. So uh, yeah, we'll do that. Right, so I'm going to go speak over here, uh, speak to Quailana over here. And I'm going to ascend the Pyromancy Flame. So you can see there it's gone back to Pyromancy Flame, just zero. Um, but it it scales with the, the... It's weird how the Pyromancy Flame works. Basically the damage has been increased. Um, and then eventually I want to get Dexterity up to about 35 to 40. Uh, which is going to increase the speed of the cast of the pyromancy so it's it's going to be very very good towards the end plus we have this sword which we don't need to worry about scaling with as long as humanity is high this sword is good so uh, yeah we don't need to worry about um, strength or anything like that because uh, we're already got set with uh, the weapon we're using uh, and then obviously we have endurance and vitality that's up to you uh, if you want to keep going with that, then uh, I think the soft cap for endurance is um, 40. You'll stop getting more uh, stamina once you reach endurance 40. That green bar won't go up anymore. So, um, yeah, it's up to you what you uh, ultimately what you upgrade. But uh, I'm taking this sort of uh, quick pyromancer route with a, a really strong sword that we don't need to worry about scaling with anything. So here's Siegmeier, he's actually stood near the Great Hollow entrance. 
Uh, we can run. You may have saw before that I changed my ring to the rusted ring that we got in uh, Undead Asylum. Uh, that allows me to run through the swamp. Uh, I'm now not as heavy, so I've uh, removed Havel's ring and uh, can just sort of switch that, that ring out as I need to. Obviously, don't do the ring of favor and uh, protection because that will break. Just leave that one where it is. Um, yeah, so we speak to Sigma here. He's going to say he's sort of stuck down here. He's going to ask you for some purple moss. You're going to give him three. It won't necessarily, well, it doesn't say, should I say. It doesn't say three, it just says some. So if you just give him these, he'll give you the his shield, the pierced shield in return. So do that, and it basically moves his storyline on, and we'll be seeing him again later on. Eventually, he does end up in Ash Lake, where we're going now. But um, we will go back to Ash Lake. We'll just walk back later on and uh, and do that last interaction with him down there. So yes, we don't. Just need to move his story on at this point. Now that we do have these green, uh, these leeches here, we do need green titanite, so attacking them on the way past is not a bad idea. Uh, I'm just going to let them jump past me first. There we go. And then, yeah, they get me anyway. But yes, they can drop um, green titanite, and it is hard to see uh, in their bodies, so you will have to stand over them. I got two large, unluckily. Well, not unlucky, it's still helpful, but I didn't get any green. I am poisoned, don't worry about that, it should go down very slowly at this point um, with the, the armour set, I, th I say armour, it's not really armour is it, um, the gold hemmed, it's, it's got a poison resistance uh, in it as well. Unfortunately you can't actually upgrade this set, um, which is disappointing, it could be absolutely amazing if you were able to upgrade it, but you can't, it's just the base version of it. So we're kind of stuck with it. It's still really good at its base version. So here's the bonfire we set very early on. And this is <laughs> the Great Hollow. Yeah, it's a maze down here. I've done this three or four times in practices and things trying to get a path. And I still get lost down here. So you can see this hollowed out trunk here. We're going to go and roll into it and uh, try and drop and hit this point here. This is the Clorinthy ring. This is a ring I will be wearing for the remainder of the game pretty much um, it does the same as the shield we're using and it does stack so we the our um, stamina is going to go up really quickly um, it's just amazing I'll, they can see a crystal lizard as well yeah I'm going to be going get some crystal lizards now we're going to go right back to the top and start again here's one as well he's quite a rare one he's quite a hard one to get so yeah you can see there we've got the red chunk and uh, some um, some twinkling tides now you always get twinkling uh, but the extra stuff is uh, is randomized and then we're gonna, that, that was the main route that not route <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't help does it um root r o u t e that's the main route down the tree um where that uh, that one was then he's kind of hard to get he does disappear very quickly we will be using or i will be using the uh the reload tricks, if you quit out and then load the game back up, they do spawn back in. Sometimes, most of the time they do. Uh, so if you look down here, there's a, a little gap. Uh, try not to drop too far back when we go to that one. That's the second one we're going to do. But here's where we saw the first one. I'm going to do the reload trick now. So reload back in, and then you can see the crystal lizard's back. And I'm using the, the flame because using a, a sword or anything like that is a chance you're going to hit the wall. And um, you're going to miss. I'm just going to do reload here. There's supposed to be one here. Like I said, it's random. Um, they can appear here later on. If you, I think it has something to do with the bonfire as well. If you uh, go and rest at the bonfire, it can sort of rejig their, their positioning. But here's a, a place where they can come. These two spawn points here. Um, and then I'll show you some more of the spawn points as well. There is a ledge below me. You can't really see it, but it is there. And that's where we uh, we came up before. Now we're going to go run back up to the top again. You're just going to have to try and walk around this place and kind of learn it. It's, it's a maze. <laughs> it's when you get lower down and you kind of have to find these bodies 
uh, with the um, the random chunks on that it can get even more confusing because you need to take certain paths to get to certain ones and it's quite confusing don't drop against the wall here you'll get stuck behind the root and the wall you'll have to homeward bone out yep so there was one there you saw it but it's gone and I know there should be at least three down here well no not at least should I say there are three spawn points so there's one here which we're gonna get and then there should be one behind me but he's not there and then there should be one kind of here which isn't here either and then there's one at the top so there's four spawn points here again it's random so I'm gonna run back to the top and I'm going to uh, do this uh, quick reload try and get them to spawn back in there's the first one so that's a good one there there we've got a titanite slab amazing it is really random on my practice I got two and it's really disappointing because I really don't need it on that one uh, here's another one and then there is a chance there'll be one around the corner here so I'm gonna stand here and do the same uh, reload trick and he has come in so there we go we'll get him as well and I'm gonna kinda leave it at that I'll show you a couple of other places I'm not gonna run around chasing them Yes, the materials are nice. Uh, Twinkling Titanite, we don't really need it for uh, for doing armor. Um, but the other stuff we will need, and we can farm in other places. So it's not essential to get these guys, but it's just helpful along this point. Uh, these um, basilisks uh, have curse. The mist that they shoot out is curse. Uh, curse is if your bar fills up, then you die instantly. And then when you respawn, you'll be cursed and you'll have half of your health uh, permanently until you use a purging stone or get yourself cured. There is a guy, I think it's in New Londo Ruins, who can cure you as well. Well, purging stone is the best way to do it. Um, yeah, until that point, your, your life will be half and you'll be cursed. But if you are cursed, you can attack ghosts. If you're not cursed, you can't. But we will be using a, a consumable that allows us to attack ghosts anyway. Um, yes, you may see that I have a, a double bar as well when it comes to the curse. I'll show you again when I fight another basilisk. Um, I'm just going to check that back route in the first one again because I wanted to see uh, if that lizard did come back. It didn't. Um, yeah, when I, I have a double bar when it comes to the curse build up, that's again is because my humanity is high. Uh, you get a, a better resistance to being cursed. Yeah, it's not there. We're going to leave it and just carry on. I'm going to drop down to uh, where those basilisks were, pretty much. We're just going to start... Go, I think i go back up to the bonfire. Even I'm getting confused. I'm, yuck, I'm looking for uh, one of the corpses with an item on. I'll remember where it is in a moment. So I'm just going to start up here so you can get a point of reference, basically. If I'm just spinning the camera around, then you're not going to, not going to know where I am. Like I said, it's very confusing. <laughs> so yeah, the curse build-up, it's, uh, it's definitely helpful to have high humanity. I'll find it in a second. I'll remember where it is. It's down here. There we go. So this is where we saw that first um, crystal lizard. Don't jump off there, jump off there, there we go. And there's one ahead of me here, this is it. Found out, <laughs> remembered now, I hadn't gone far enough down. No! See what I mean about slippy? It's not necessarily slippy, uh, not, not necessarily slippy, but it just sort of forces you off the edge. Uh, and here are the basilisks again. So you can maybe see the bar fill up a little. Do we see it there? I've got like a double bar. If you've just got a single one, it's because um, your humanity is low. Uh, yeah, so stay out of it, really. You can see I do have a resistance. Uh, again, the reason I've done this is because of the Eye of Death there. We do need ten of those for a covenant. So I will be killing basilisks as I see them. But we can farm for those eyes later on. So don't worry if you don't get any. We will be getting a trophy in this um, in this episode uh, for joining the path of the dragon 
right near the end it's another one of the covenants it's not a covenant that's any of use to us really it's a pvp one and i think one of the items you get for them you can eventually turn into a dragon so we're trying to find i'm trying to find my route again r o u t e <laughs> Here we go. So this is the bit where that crystal lizard was again. That kind of split path. So you go down here. And then you drop onto this extra side bit here. This is the key. There we go. And then we walk round. Oh, it's a nightmare. So basically look for glowing things. That's what you're looking for. So these some of these chunks are uh, in a quite a precarious place or the drop down to them is quite bad uh, we can farm for these chunks later on so if you don't want to risk losing your humanity or your sanity <laughs> then uh, don't worry too much about them but I'm showing you where they are or trying to just in case you want to grab them so making our way back down again here there is another spawn point for crystal lizards uh, I did just show you that briefly that sort of ledge there can be two there here this ledge there can be two spawn in here I'm not going to try and get any to show up so I'm going to try and go down here so I'm kind of learning there, there is kind of a path with these bodies just having a look around there is a path that loops around to the next body I'm just checking it's not this one it is that one down there which we eventually want to get to I'm going to drop down onto this one. You will take a lot of fall damage, so uh, make sure you have your esters topped up. And there we go. And then we're just going to kind of make our way down. I may have even missed one myself. I don't think I did. I think I got them all, uh, all the chunks. But like I said, it's not essential. Uh, we can farm for them later on. And then finally drop down onto this one. You're going to see a cut here because this one is quite difficult to reach. It's on a little um, little branch. Again, it is slippy. You can think you've hit it, but you won't like that. You just get pushed right off. Uh, there are two basilisks down here. I'm just going to cut back to the top there uh, and show you the, the route round. So there is a ladder on the edge, and then this is the second ladder around the edge of that bit with the two basilisks. You'll climb up the ladder. Uh, and this is the path. This path. This is the reason I wanted to show you. Is you can't walk up there. You kind of have to go around the edge of it. It is. It does look dangerous, but there is a, like an invisible path almost. You need to push up against uh, the edge of that that path to get round. Uh, don't go rolling. You can overshoot and fall off. And uh, I'm just showing you the path back down to. There we go. Yeah, so there's a ladder around the edge of this. It's quite obvious when you see it. And then we're going to try and hit it again. And we've got it. All that for a red titanite chunk. Right. Now is an even worse one coming up. So if you look around the inside of the tree, where these two branches are pointing down, or roots, where is it? There we go. There is a ladder taking us even further down. There are four basilisks down here, so be aware and get rid of them quickly. Uh, it may be better to use a pyromancy at this point. They, they are horrible when it comes to dodging your attacks as well. Just get clear. Don't stand in that black um, mist. Pyromancy could be better if you're not in the, op in the open, because you're going to just hit the roots. So from this ladder, I'm just going to get this extra item first. Where are we? There we are. So this is the main path down where this item is. But I'm going to take another path down to try and get something. A white titanite chunk. All this for a chunk. I do die here. But I will cut back to trying again. This is the worst one to try and get. Because you can't see your ledge. It's just below me there. And you're going to see how... Yeah. So you just sort of get pushed off the tree. So cutting back we'll try again so I did get my humanity back that's the most important thing 
Again, if you don't want to risk your humanity, then don't worry too much. There we go. Hit it. All that for a <laughs> white titanite chunk. We do need them for leveling up. We've got to fully level up each kind of weapon. Uh, divine, magic, flame, chaos, etc. So we do need a lot of materials. But again, we can farm them. You can see there's another thing down there. I'm getting all turned around again. We're near the bottom now. Once you see the mushrooms, you're nearly there. So I'm trying to hit. Again, it's just slippy. It just pushes you around. I've lost that item. It's below me. Yeah, so this is the main path you would take down. Where I got that first item. It's below me now. <laughs> I couldn't quite see it. There we go. And this is it. Oh, finally. Right, Titanite Chunk. Let's heal and let's get the hell out of here. Right, there are little mushroom people here. The little ones are nothing to worry about, really. They just sort of trip up in front of you. Uh, <laughs> literally, that's what they do. I can hear them coming. You'll see. Do these ones do it? They just fall over. <laughs> this is great. Um, they can swipe, hit you as well, punches. Um, I'm not sure what the falling over is all about. Uh, it does kind of... Uh, break your your block so whether it, I don't know what it's about because they do it too early as well um, the big ones hurt like hell if they hit you they can one shot you no problem so whether the little ones are just trying to to take your attention away, tension away if they fall and hit you it staggers you a bit leaving you open to an attack from a big one um, I don't know <laughs> what the deal is with those guys uh, but I'm going to ignore the big ones. Uh, I think it's only a thousand souls each anyway. So I'm not bothered. I don't want to die. I don't want Because you start back at the top of that tree. Uh, and they don't give you anything else. So just run away. And get into the second part of this video. Which is Ash Lake. This is the next area. This is much simpler. And amazingly beautiful. And there is our target. A Hydra. Looks scary as hell, but really isn't at this point. Here is our uh, bonfire. Make sure you to hit this, uh, light it, and sit at it. If you don't sit at it, then uh, if you die, you're going to spawn right back at the top of the tree. So yeah, sit at it. We're not going to be going back up the tree at any point. If you want to mess around and get crystal lizards at the top again, that's up to you. Uh, I might advise you to do it if we need some things, but it you shouldn't need any of the materials from them. Might be worth looking for a slab, that's all. So the, the idea with this, this Hydra is stay on the beach, but be close enough to the water that it does its lunge attack. Uh, you don't want it to be doing its water attack. Uh, so keep your shield up and wait for the lunge. And you're basically cutting its heads off. You can see I hit one then and it cut it off. Uh, with this sword, there's another one gone. With this sword, it does a lot of damage. Three hits will remove a head. So if you stand too far back, it's going to do like a water projectile thing. Uh, and that does hurt. It'll break through your shield. Uh, so stand close enough, but do not go into the water. I'll show you the water in a moment. There's kind of a, a drop off a ledge where it just goes all black. Um, you'll die if you go to past that point. You'll just fall. Um... You need to stay where it's kind of blue, dark blue. Uh, we'll do that more in a minute. So just stay close enough to the water that it's doing its lunge attack. And uh, yeah, just pick its heads off. You may need to turn around and look for them. It's fairly quick in the way it does it. There we go, there's another one. One. Now you don't need to fight this guy, it's good for some souls and you're just going to get two dragon scales. Um, but if you don't fight him, he's going to chase you this whole section. He will jump over from side to side uh, in the water and just keep chasing you down. So one more hit should do it. There, uh, he's gone. And he's going to leave us with two dragon scales. Dragon scales are used for dra you we used for uh, dragon weapons for leveling those up. 
So you're going to see here, you can see it's kind of dark bluey, greeny. I am kind of colorblind with blue and green, so you don't excuse me if it's uh, green. Uh, and there's another one there on a, on a body. So yeah, you need them to uh, level up dragon weapons, so things like the Drake Sword we had earlier, uh, the sword we're about to get, um, even the Moonlight Great Sword, I think that's dragon scales. And you also need them to level up the Covenant we're about to join, but it is kind of a PvP Covenant. We get an item called uh, the Dragon's Head or something like that, you're going to see it later. Um, I think you can turn into a dragon. I haven't used it. I think you can breathe fire. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I've not used it. I've not looked into it. Um, but yeah, you you level it up this covenant uh, that we're about to join with dragon scales, and it gets stronger, I believe. Um, yeah, I haven't checked it myself. These clams are really good actually for uh, for farming certain things. They will drop either or. In, not every time, but either a purging stone, which I got there, which is a quite an expensive item, or twinkling titanite. Um, obviously, it's not going to; they're not always going to drop it, but they can drop either of those two things. So they are quite good for uh, certain items. Uh, just stay behind them. They do a dash forward sometimes as well. Don't get lucky with that one. I don't know whose skull that is. Uh, but basically we're going to go and get another dragon scale. Just in case you want to level up any dragon weapons. Most dragon weapons now, like the dragon tooth that Havel uses, that's a dragon weapon, um, are quite heavy. Uh, we're not built for strength, or I'm not. Uh, if you're following along, you probably won't be either. So uh, dragon scales are kind of useless, but they're there if you need them. And then we're going to make our way to go and get a miracle that we do need for the trophy for that as well. And then we're going to finish off this video by joining the Covenant and uh, getting another rare weapon. So quite a few of those already. So there's the main entrance to this uh, tree we're going to go into. We're going to take the service entrance. <laughs> uh, there is a basilisk here. Unfortunately for me, he jumps off the edge, so I can't check whether he drops an, uh, an eye of death. But there he goes, anyway. And you'll see below me, where roughly where he is, where that branch is poking down, or the root is sticking in the ground. Uh, you can see this trunk kind of open, be really slow trying to drop into there. But you want to drop into here, and uh, you're going to go inside the tree, and you'll be higher up on the mushrooms, and you can pick up the... Uh, Great magic barrier. Watch out, there are two basilisks in here. They're not really the problem. It's that guy in the corner. If he's seen you, he can be underneath you and uh, one shot you very easily. They are really slow, but um, if they do get you, it's going to hurt. And uh, yeah, that's it pretty much. So yeah, we're going to be ending this video shortly. It's a long run. Uh, and we will be back down here to, like I said, with the end of Siegmeier's uh, quest line. Um, he gives us a Titanite slab as well, actually, at the end of his quest line. Um, yeah, so we're just going to warp back down here. This this bonfire we're about to uh, light in a moment is a warpable one, or you can warp to it. Uh, and this, this I think this one does. This one drops. It does drop Twinkling Titanite. So yeah, you can farm these guys. There is a better place to farm those guys. If you need Twinkling Titanite for anything. But it is later on. Uh, yeah, so just the long run in here. And there's going to be a dragon. It's not a fight or anything. It's just a covenant. So you're going to uh, sort of pray at it. And uh, you'll just join it. You don't ne necessarily need to actually join it. Uh, you can get the dragon headstone, which is the thing I'm talking about. Um, you can turn into a dragon. I think you level it up, you get the dragon body as well. Uh, and you get the dragon eye, which is a PvP uh, item. Not something we'll be using. But here he is. Cool little intro here. Well, it's not really an intro. <laughs> he just uh, opens up his wings. And uh, yeah, just go and... Uh, Stand here and pray. Uh, I enter it. 
Don't necessarily need to. But you're going to get the trophy there. And then we're going to go and chop his tail off to get the dragon greatsword, which is a rare weapon we do need for the trophy. So, yeah. Thing is, he doesn't become hostile, which is really, really strange. He just lets you walk around and uh, chop his tail off and get the greatsword. So I don't know what that's all about, but <laughs> thankfully we don't have to fight it. Um, and that's it, that's going to be the end of this video. I'm going to rest here, uh, and then we'll pick it back up and walk from here to where we're going next, which will be uh, Darkroot Gardens and Basin. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.